Good day class. Today this video is on frequency tables. First I want to give a shout out to Amber and Shayla from fourth period. Okay. The frequency of an interval is the number of data values in, an, in that interval. A frequency table, which is what we're going to do, groups a set of data values in intervals and shows the frequency for each interval. Intervals and frequency tables do not overlap, do not have any gaps, and are usually equal in size. For example, if we're talking about the number of stolen bases for an athlete, we could have an interval of, let's say, zero to six stolen bases. Okay. And then every time they got zero to six stolen bases, we would sort of do little tally marks. Okay. Now, when they get over six stolen bases, we have to go to the next interval. And the intervals have to be the same size. So in zero to six, there's seven numbers there. Okay. So you have to be careful because you have to keep that consistent. So for example, you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's 7 numbers in 0 through 6. So when we do our next interval, we start with 7, and we need to make sure that there's 7 intervals there. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so the next interval will be 7 to 13. Okay. And then if we needed to go more, we would start with 14, okay? and then we would count up 7, including 14, to see where it ends. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 14 to 20 would be our next interval. All right. So you have to be very careful because it looks like it's 6 numbers, but it is 7 numbers in each of these intervals. All right, let's do our first one. This one is the data for the numbers of hours per week a group of students spent watching television. Okay, it's, we're going to draw a frequency table, not a histogram, that represents the data. The first thing you need to do is always put the numbers in order. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have our numbers in orders, and I went ahead and titled our frequency table. You always title them. Okay, so we want to have two columns here. Okay, the first column is going to be our interval, and you're always going to be told what your interval will be. Okay? The second column is going to be the frequency numbers occur in that interval. Okay? So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do intervals of four. All right? So you always start with your lowest number. My lowest number is zero. Okay, I want intervals of four, so I need zero, one, two, three, Right, so 0 to 3 gives me an interval of 4. So my next interval will start with 4. Go 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, and my next one's going to start with an 8. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Then we have 12. 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 here. 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, I need to keep going because it goes up to 22, and so I need to make sure that last number is included. So this would be 20, okay, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. Okay, it worked out perfect. Sometimes it doesn't work out, okay, with all of our numbers. We need to keep making sure you have as many intervals as the numbers there. This interval went to 23, and even though my highest number is 22, my last interval has to have the same numbers or the same size as every other interval. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to t write tally marks in my frequency side of my table. Okay. So we have a 0, a 1, okay. a 3, a 4, two fives, a 6, okay. and a 7. Make sure your fifth one you cross over. So 8, 10, 11, 13, 14, 14. Okay, and then the 16 through 19, nothing's in there. And then I have a 22. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and add them all up. So this is 3, 5, 3, 3, 0, and 1. Okay. So that's my frequency table for watching TV. Right. Now we're going to do another one, and I'm going to change it. And we're going to do intervals of 6 instead of 4. All right, so I have them in order. And I have our table startup. I'm going to change this to hours instead of intervals. Okay, I'll help explain our graph a little more. All right, so we're doing intervals of six. So again, I'm going to start with zero. And I want six numbers in the interval. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, 
The next one's going to start with a 6, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, the next one's going to start with 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, 18 will start the next one. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, and it's 23, so I know 22 is included. All right, we're going to start our tally points. So we have 0, 1, 3, 4, and two fives. Okay. From six to eleven, I have six, seven, eight, ten, and eleven. So and then I have thirteen, two fourteens, and then I have twenty two. So we have six, five, three, and one. Okay, so there's our frequency table. So if you look at the difference in the previous slide and this slide, the difference is on our frequency table, in our intervals, we had an interval of four, which gave us more intervals. Okay. When we changed it to an interval size of six, it gave us fewer intervals, and that will always happen. The larger the interval size, the fewer the intervals. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to do another one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start out with one interval, and then we're going to go and change the interval size. All right, here's our next one. This is the number of home runs by batters at a local home run derby. I went ahead and put the numbers in order and started our table. I, again, titled our frequency table for home runs. On the left side, I have home runs. That's going to be our intervals, interval size. And on the right, it's going to be our frequency. And we're going to start off with a frequency size of 4 again. Okay. So I'm going to start off with 2. 2 is my lowest one, and I want it to be 4 units. So again, I'm just going to count off to the side. Two, three, four, five. So four numbers puts me up to five. And then we'll start with six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Going to be nine. We're going to go ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. So fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So that works out. Okay, I got all my numbers are included. So now I'm going to do my tallies. So we have two, three, Four and five. So one, two, three, five. Then we have three sevens. One, two, three. A nine. Okay. And then our ten, two twelves. Okay. And then fourteen, fifteen, and seventeen. So then I'm just going to total them. So four, four, three, and three. So there's our frequency table for number of home runs with interval size of 4. Okay. Let's see what that looks like when we change that interval size to 6. Alright, I went ahead and put them in order again, tied out all our frequency table, and we're going to this time make a frequency table with an interval size of 7. Okay, So we start with 2. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's two to eight. Okay, the next one starts with nine, and we go nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and the next one will be 16. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so that'll be 22. All right, you notice our numbers are higher, but again, your interval size has to stay the same. So from 2 to 8, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4, 5, 6. Numbers. From 9 to 15, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then from 16 to 22, we have 1. So we have, let me erase this a little bit so I have more room. Okay. So we have 7, 6, and 1. Okay. So there's a frequency table with an interval size of 7. Okay. See the difference? The numbers are much more together and bunched up than in a frequency size of 4. Remember, the larger the frequency size, the fewer intervals. Okay. That's it. Have a great day.